Hey guys. So we woke up this morning. I put on Tchaikovsky for whatever reason. And uh, we're like, hey, let's take a look at his chart. So we're just going to, it's what we like to do. So we're going to share that with you guys. Mm -hmm. So first what we do is look up Tchaikovsky Astro theme. And you can find most famous people's birth charts here. There's a lot on there. There is. Oh, and we were looking at picture of him on the tv and crystal said he looks like a capricorn because he has this a blinken type beard and a blinken's our go-to capricorn uh reference yep and i thought he looked a bit like aries because aries look like a flame like their their eyes and their hair and their hair here this look like a flame with certain things too yeah look his hair is like flamey like a dog, too, like a puppy dog. Or he's like a dog. Maybe we should just check out some other pictures of him. Yeah. While we're at it. And then I notice he has these infamous Taurus eye bags. And Taurus is a musician. And it only really makes sense. Because Taurus is missing cell salt for water. Which he creates the... Yeah, too much water. They're water missing. Tension. They're missing the salt for water elimination. And of course, Taurus is uh, generally are musicians, or musicians are Taurian, I like to say. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we haven't looked at his chart. Let's uh, see if we are. He looks a little Leo too, but mm, I mean, not so much. Okay, let's look. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Taurus. Who guessed it? Oh, May 7th. Yep. Taurus Sun. Cancer Moon. Let's go to the wheel. Cancer Ascendant. Oh, Aquarius. yeah. See, he's round. See. That's why I guess no on Leo. Mm. Moon in the first. <clears throat> wow. In Cancer. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's very scorpion. Oh, and look at all that Aries. Yep. There's the Aries. And a and the sun can jump Mars. That's the the, the all the Aries. The Aries, yeah. And nothing. Well, tenth house. Nothing in Capricorn. Well, no. The thing good. is, uh, that happens a lot. You see, all Cap with the, the opposite. Cancer opposite. Especially yeah. that you said that was like the third time. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah, for some reason, like people pick up their opposite characteristics of their ascendant so cancer ascendant characteristics of capricorn because i saw a capricorn the ascendant. opposites of any of them but yeah it's the yeah. ascendant a lot yeah but it's it's the opposite of his sun and moon so of course you're seeing ascendant and moon yeah oh ascendant and moon yeah oh second house moon too that is very music mm -hmm. based but he's a Scorpio Taurus. Vertex, which is the second descendant, mm -hmm. Jupiter, the Lilith, opposite Sun, Mars. Yeah, that's strong. Sun, Mars. Huh. His Mars is on the same degree as yours. Oh, cool. Yeah, and I have a Taurus Sun too, but it's 24 degrees. It's kind of amazing. In the 12th house, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that, like, kind of like that mystical. He ha His music is very mystical. It's like, and theatrical. Mm -hmm. Like, you hear a lot of his, his uh, Dreamy, pieces, too. yeah, in, like, mu movies. Yeah, in movies today. is 12th house. Right. Cool, what else? Oh, North Node in Pisces. Mm. That can... Be music and movies is oh and in the future like he's passed away long ago but his music still lives on in movies hmm. and north note is like future even though it's not his it's in the 10th house too and 10th yeah. house is what he's known for he's yeah known for... exactly right mm. yeah so yeah that's just that's a little it. clip of what we like to do um, when we see somebody and 
we know we can take a look at their chart and you can do it too. Thanks for watching.